Can we please do the second question? Oh. Hey, welcome to our new segment, Building a Mystery. Oh, okay. All right. You guys are going to love this. As children, we were all raised on Encyclopedia Brown books. Um, this is a book, if you're not familiar, that is about a young boy and his friend Sally and how they solve mysteries together. And Encyclopedia is a genius. To the point where the cops often consult like an 11-year-old there child. There hasn't been a crime in Idaville for over a year. This is where Encyclopedia Brown lives. So we were raised on these books. And I've been getting my daughter Charlie into uh, the books as well. And it's fun. You listen to them and then you try to solve the mystery, you know, at the end, just like Encyclopedia does. It's fun. It's good problem solving. They're great. I assume and they're available at Scholastic Book Fair still. You can find them anywhere fine books are sold. There are, however, I have to say, Donald J. Sobel, the author of this franchise, wrote a lot of these things. Oh, yeah. And he had, let's call it, a gift for metaphor. Sure. And what I what we're going to be doing in this brand new segment is we're going to be checking out some of Mr. Sobel's absolutely bananas <laughs> metaphors. <laughs> and you are going to try to guess. This is a quiz show. Oh, OK. You are going to try to guess how <laughs> these these absolute bangers uh, complete. So I'm going to give you the first half. OK. And then you have to guess the second half. Are you ready? Yeah, please. We're going to begin with Encyclopedia Brown Saves the Day. Not the first, first book chronologically, but it was the one that we were listening to uh, when, when I thought of this series. And in fact, it was this first question that prompted me down this rabbit hole that was so much deeper than I thought it would be. Here we go. Bugs Meanie. That's the bully of, I mean, this Fuck guy is a master hate criminal. That dude. This dude is real fucked shit. up. He's so fucked up. He's like twist. He's basically the Joker. The Joker. Yeah. 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 Thank Raise you, Travis. The specter of the Joker up unless it's Bugs. Bugs Meanie was the leader of a gang of wild older boys. Mm -hmm. They called them. Man, I would actually be really good doing audiobooks for Encyclopedia. You oh, would. I thought you were going to say as a gang of wild older boys. Justin, Bugs you would slot into a gang of wild older boys like a like a key into a lock. This is this is our neighborhood's toughest gang. They're called the Tigers. It's Bugs Meanie, a bunch of other kids, and a forty-one-year-old man in a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> he does a lot of the driving around and purchasing and the buying of beer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bugs He's Meanie not was the, the leader. He isn't the leader. <laughs> he answers to that. He answers to that preteen Bugs Meanie. Okay, he's kind Bugs of the vizier. <laughs> the Bugs Meanie. <laughs> Bugs, <laughs> he is helping him start a five twenty nine to raise money for college, which please, is cool. Please, please, Effendi, let let me bend your ear for a moment, please, my little birds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you want to know Meanie your principal's was... address? Can... <laughs> All right, Bugs Meany was the leader of a gang of wild older boys. They called themselves the Tigers. Uh -huh. They should have called themselves the Weathermen. Why? Because? Because why? Complete the metaphor. Why should they have is called- Is this a simile? The, it, I don't care. Why should they have called the- It's. I mean, it's a joke. It sounds like the setup for a joke. Why because should they have- they I were, mean, you're going to have to tell me after I'm done. Be, why should they have called themselves the Weathermen? Because they were always raining on everyone's parade. Okay, fascinating. Griffin. Why should they have called this gang of boy? Because they, <laughs> they are thunder- Because they are destructive as a- a hurricane or a tornado. They should have called themselves the Weathermen. They never stole anything until the coast was clear. Huh? What? Say okay. one more. Say one more. Well, you know, they should have called themselves the Weathermen. They never stole anything until the coast was clear. You know how a weatherman is always looking at the horizon from Donald? the ocean, and he's just like, "There's Donald? a storm rolling in." Donald, are you okay, bud? Okay, give me another. You've had your turn growled Bugs. He jerked a thumb over his shoulder. Now make like a pair of headlights and... <sighs> make like a pair of, pair headlights. of headlights. And, um... And go... And... 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 and I don't... That, and damn... And swerve? And, and hit... Hit and the road? switch off. Switch off. 
Click I'm off. Say, hit the road. Hit, hit the road. Travis, it's hit the road. Yeah. But they don't. Good job. I mean, headlights don't tip it. The car hits the. That's Yeah, Griffin, well, the car hits the road. No, no, no. Now, hold on to Mr. Sobel's defense. The light shines on the road so you can okay, see it. Okay, that's fine. Benny was a good friend standing up. As soon as he lay down, he went to sleep and became a threat to the nation's forests. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> because he snored like a buzzsaw. His snoring shook branches loose for half a mile around. All right. Now, Donald? Travis gets half a point for that. <laughs> yeah, he gets half but a also, point. But also, I, Donald, mine was better. Why did you reach yeah. so far? As Encyclopedia biked past the empty lot on Rock Garden Lane, he saw Nathan Winslow swinging a pickaxe at top speed. What? The boy detective braked to a halt. Hey, Nathan, he called. What are you doing? What does it look like? Said Nathan. I'm digging. Now leave me alone. Now, how does he now <laughs> complete this line? <laughs> now leave me alone. Mm -mm -mm. I have to practice. What are the grunts there? What does he say? What, what could he possibly be saying there? Leave me alone. <sighs> and it's like a turn of phrase? Yeah, it's like a turn of phrase, like a classic turn of phrase. Leave me alone. Uh, you. Ragamuffin. We were looking for go wash an elephant or something. Huh. <laughs> okay, when are these books from? when are these books from? 1890. <laughs> no, like the 1960s. Okay, so maybe that's just how kids talk back then. It's just I don't unhinged. Know, dude. We don't know. Go wash an elephant or something. Or something. Okay, we have one more from Encyclopedia Brown Saves the Day. Forget it, said Encyclopedia. The shine of gold can be worse than a close shave. Oh, sh the shine of gold can, can be, be worse, worse than, than a close, close shave. shave because you can you can cut yourself on the. I, I, my brain is not capable of the kind of lateral thinking. That is that this that Come these on, passages demand. Use that broken brain. For yeah, no, right. A shine of gold can be worse than a close shave. Uh, it smooth. I don't. I got has made a lot of people lose their heads. Oh, I don't think a lot of people have cut their whole fucking well, heads off while shaving. John, uh, Donald Sobel also wrote Sweeney Todd. <laughs> so yeah. that's the that important thing you need to know. Two more quick ones. These are from Encyclopedia Brown Keeps the Peace. In every book, they do one of these about the tigers, and then there's something mean that Bugs Meanie says to Encyclopedia Brown. This happens in every book. Yeah. Bugs was the leader of a gang of tough older boys who called themselves the tigers. They should have called themselves the tea bags. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> um, they should have called themselves the tea bags because they were always stirring things up. Um, they should Because there was always something brewing. Damn it, Travis is too. Travis is leagues better at this game than I am. Like he's in a whole nother echelon. Um, but he didn't guess it. Yet. Oh, I didn't. Uh, they huh. Called themselves no, the weird. tea bag because they love to spoon. Because they always found themselves in hot water. <laughs> they were always getting into hot oh, water. Oh, damn, Griffin, nice. Griffin McElroy, right, right, really I'll nice. I'll take that one. Last one, Bugs to this is Bugs to Encyclopedia. Get off the Earth. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Get off the earth, he snarled upon seeing the boy detective, or I'll twist your nose so far around you'll... What? You'll stand on the ceiling. You'll smell your brain. You'll part your hair every time you sneeze. Fuck, that's good. <laughs> that's, that's what we're good, looking Bugs. for. Bugs, yeah, that's, that's fucking good. good. Anyway, 